Hello friends, I usually meet uh, many distribution engineers who are working in distribution company for many years. But when it comes to classification of the system they are working in, based on the types of operating system they are confused. The reason is very simple because the people in the field don't get much time to go through the prevalent relevant IS code and regulation and I have just opened a clause 11.1 .1 of ISC 043 uh, the same can be seen in international IEC 60364 part 3 or the same can be referred in our IS 732 or BS 7671 you can refer anyone and but the crux is that they are basically three major types of system TN, TT and IT system. Now the point is how to understand that uh, TN, TT and IT system. First of all you have to understand that there are three letters usually comes in the picture. If you see this one TNS, TNCS, TNC, TT, IT usually two or three terms are used what is the meaning of very first term and what the meaning of the terms used in the very first term in that uh, depiction in that description the very first term basically gives you the relationship of the power distribution system to the earth it talks about the source and usually it has two terms it either t t means basically t is nothing it is the terra it has derived from the word terra and terra means earth direct connection of one pole to earth i mean system isolated from earth coming to second uh, term we usually use in that abbreviation that describe grounding of the equipment again it has two word t or n t means direct electrical connection of the equipment to earth independently of the grounding of any point of power distribution system N. N means direct electrical connection to the equipment to the earth point of the power distribution system. Apart from that sometimes there is third alphabet is there. That describes the arrangement of neutral and a protective conductor. S means protective function is provided by conductors separate from the neutral or from the earth line C means neutral and protective functions are combined in single conductor that is called protective earth neutral conductor pen important to understand pen protective earth conductor protective earth neutral conductor how this system look like if you look at the figure very first system is T and S that means in this system three phase conductor one neutral conductor and one protective earth are going towards load through source and at source that neutral point is grounded and from that neutral point neutral and protective earth are taken and they start moving towards load in TNCS system that is basically combined and separate at some distance in the distribution system that runs combined combined neutral and combined protective earth but at the premises it is separated again it becomes tns system similarly in tnc both protective and neutral conductors are common that is called pen protective earth neutral tt system is system where you are load and at source and are connected to ground independently they are not connected together and in it system i stand for isolation and t for terra earth it is ungrounded system and at load and equipments are grounded independently to dedicate it one earth. This was a small information.